Good afternoon. I present to you Virginia's electors for the 2016 Electoral College. Please stand. May all be seated. Welcome everyone, Secretary Thomason, Mr. Justice, Governor's Secretaries, distinguished electors and guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm James Alcorn, Chairman of the Virginia State Board of Elections. On behalf of the Vice Chair, Clara Bell Wheeler, and Secretary Singleton McAllister, I'm pleased to call, call to order the 2016 College of Electors for President and Vice President of the United States for the Commonwealth of Virginia. I ask that you please turn off any electronic devices while the Electoral College is in session. Cameras may be, may be used during the ceremony, but please no flash while we're in the chamber. <coughs> At this time, I'm honored to present uh, to this historic gathering the Honorable Kelly Thomason, Secretary of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Secretary. Thank you, Chairman Alcorn, and welcome to everyone here today. I'd like to welcome our electors, Justice Bill Mims from the Virginia Supreme Court, Director Sandra Treadway, the Librarian of Virginia, Congressman Hurt is here with us today, Senator Spruill is here, um, the State Board of Elections, the Department of Elections, Commissioner uh, Cortez, our General Registrars, Electoral Board members, their staff, and all of our guests gathered here today. Welcome. Governor McAuliffe also sends his warm welcome and greetings to you all. On behalf of the governor, I'd like to thank our electors for your service to the Commonwealth and to our country. You've been elected here to be here today, and it's an honor to participate in this historic election. This year, perhaps more than ever, there's been intense scrutiny of the electoral college process, and I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you some history of how we got here today. The founders established the electoral college as a compromise between Congress electing the president and election by popular vote. Electors are chosen on election day from each of the 50 states in Washington, D.C. Virginia's electors here are 13 of the 538 electors who will cast their vote for president and vice president today across the country. As you know, Virginia has always played an important role in our country's history. The first organized election in the New World was held in Virginia in May of 1619 to elect the first House of Burgesses. And less than three years will mark the 400th anniversary of this occasion, and we're already looking forward to the commemoration in 2019 in Jamestown. The method of electing a president by the Electoral College began with the Constitutional Convention of 1787. James Madison created the Electoral College as a compromise to holding too much power by the states with the largest populations. At the time, Virginia was the largest state, with an estimated 600,000 people of 3.8 million nationally. The first electors in 1789 unanimously elected Virginian George Washington. No other president has received a unanimous vote of the electors, and I certainly don't expect that to happen today. Virginia and Maryland were the only original states to allow electors to be elected by the people. Other states required a vote of the legislature. Since the 1788-89 election, Virginia has appointed all of her electors by the will of the people, that is, by election. So again, I'd like to thank our Department of Elections, the General Registrars, and Electoral Board members for ensuring that we have smooth elections here in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and all of our electors for serving us in the Commonwealth today. Thank you. We certainly appreciate Secretary Thomason for taking her time from her busy schedule to be with us today for this important occasion. I now call on the Honorable Singleton B. McAllister, Secretary of the State Board of Elections, to call the roll call of the electors for the 2016 College of Electors and to appoint the pages. Secretary McAllister. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time, I will officially call the roll call of electors. Please signify your attendance for the record by responding yay into the microphone when your name is called. Ms. Larice D. Ayer. Mr. James Harold Allen Boyd. Yay. Mrs. Deborah Stevens Fitzgerald. Yay. 
Mr. Terry C. Fry. Yes. Mr. Jasper L. Hendricks III. Yes. Mr. K. James O'Connor Jr. Yes. Mrs. Vivian J. Page. Yes. Mrs. Virginia L. Peters. Yes. Mrs. Bethany J. Rowland. Yes. Mrs. Susan Johnston Rowland. Mrs. Jeanette C. Shaver. Yes. Mr. Keith A. Scarborough. Yes. Mrs. Kathy Stewart Shoup. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, these are our 13 electors. I will now point the pages for the 2016 College of Electors. Will the pages please rise? <coughs> Starting from my right, Mr. Omar Eduardo Cortez of Fairfax County, Virginia. John Seymour Hurt of Pennsylvania County, Virginia. William Campbell Cry of Hanover County, Virginia. Catherine Kate Bacano of Henrico County, Virginia. And Ms. Shea Narissa McHenry of Leesburg, Virginia. Please give a hand for our pages. The pen and pencil set on the desk are gifts from the Commonwealth of Virginia on behalf for our pages. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary McAllister. Please stand for the invocation led by Tracy Howard, President of the Voter Registrar Association of Virginia. And then please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Howard. Please join us by bowing your head. Father above, for all those gathered here today, we thank you. We ask for peace, strength, and wisdom as the people's business is conducted today. For those who have come before us in this very place, we are thankful. We study and embrace our predecessors as our examples. We are humbled by the history residing in this place. We are awed and inspired by those who long ago assembled here. We ask for the wisdom to maintain long-traveled roads as we have been taught by four centuries of great Virginia leaders and teachers, philosophers and thinkers, the thoughtful founders of the Commonwealth of Virginia. They were mere mortals, but generations ago, these great leaders provided and ensured our extraordinary rights while shouldering the substantial responsibility of many future generations. We are grateful for all who have come before us, those who carried the weight of ensuring that the will of the people of this great Commonwealth is heard. For all those who are here today, we seek wisdom and selflessness. We assemble in these historic halls to carry out a task two and a half centuries in the making that will today also become a part of a storied history. We realize that the future is uncertain, but we carry hope. We know today is a gift, but we have a wish for a better tomorrow. As we move forward with the task entrusted to us by the people of Virginia, realize that no person is perfect and systems of governance must allow imperfection. We the people must act with selflessness doing not what is best only for ourselves, but in deliberate and overarching ways to do what is best for all. <clears throat> for today's leaders grouped here among us, we seek thoughtfulness and compassion, consensus and statesmanship. We seek for them the fortitude to blaze new trails, to recognize that everyone has a place at Virginia's table. We seek to allow the opinion of each and the good of all we ask only that our leaders continue to strive to create a Virginia of tomorrow better than the Virginia of yesterday. We ask for them the ability to preserve our great history but right the wrongs, not to cling to what worked then but to reach for what works now, to release past grievances and grasp for future good. For the generations of Virginias to come, we seek renewed hope, equality of all and better lives for each. One day we will open a new Virginia chapter to be written by the young people here today. These young people and their friends will inherit all of the things that we hold dear. It will be up to them to evaluate us. 
We ask that our children and their children do not judge us too harshly. We ask they continue our traditions but renounce the thought it's always been done that way. Look to us as examples but not repeat our failings. We ask that Virginia for many generations be kind but strong, uplifting to every person and belittling to none. We are thankful for our heritage, traditions, and history. We ask forgiveness for our transgressions. We ask for knowledge, wisdom, and consensus. We ask for freedom from closed minds and mired thought. We pray for a future full of hope, overflowing with thoughtful and inspired ideas. We ask that Virginia's children assume the lead when their time comes and this great commonwealth continues in prosperity and enlightenment. God bless all that have come here today. And God bless our great Commonwealth of Virginia. Amen. Thank you, Tracy, for that. I now call on the Honorable Clarabelle Wheeler, the Vice Chair of the State Board of Elections, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Madam Vice Chair. Let us join in Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. The electors will now take their oaths of office for the 2016 Electoral College. I'm honored to, to present to the electors the Honorable William C. Mims, Justice of the Supreme Court of Virginia, who will administer the oath of office to the electors. Justice Mims. Good afternoon. If the electors would please stand and raise your right hand. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge all the duties incumbent upon me as a presidential elector of the 2016 Electoral College. From state, your city, or county, according to the best of my ability. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to ask the electors to sign their oaths of office, and if the pages could collect those and bring them forward. Thank you, electors. At this time, I would like to appoint as the temporary presiding officer of the college, the Honorable Lasharish Ayer of, pa of Petersburg. Elector Ayer, if you would, please come to the podium.
The order of business has been distributed to the electors. At this time, will the electors please adopt the order of business by voice vote. By voice vote, will all in favor of adopting this order of business for the 2016 Electoral College please signify so by saying A. A. All opposed, please signify by saying nay. Hearing none, the order of business is adopted. At this time, it is the order of business to elect a president of the 2016 College of Electorals. I will now accept nominations from the floor. Are there any nominations from the floor? Elector Boyd has nominated Susan Rowland to be the president of the College of Electors. Is there a second? I second Elector Boyd's nomination. Elector Page has seconded Elector Boyd's nomination. Do you accept the nomination, Elector Rowland? Are there any other nominations for president of the College of Electors? <laughs> Hearing no other nominations, I now call for a voice vote. All in favor of electing elector Susan Johnson Rowland of Chesapeake as the president of the 2016 College of Electors, please indicate so by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, please indicate by saying nay. Hearing none, Elector Susan Johnston Rowland of Chesapeake was unanimously elected as president of the 2016 College of Electors. At this time, it is the order of business to elect a secretary of the College of Electors. Are there any nominations from the floor? I have a two-day Rowland of Chesapeake nominate Terry C. Fry to be secretary of Electors. Elector Rowland has nominated <coughs> Terry C. Fry to be Secretary of the College of Electors. Is there a second? I second Elector Rowland's nomination. Elector Scarborough has, elected, has seconded Elector Rowland's nomination. Do you accept the nomination, <laughs> Elector Fry? I accept the nomination. Are there any no other nominations for Secretary of the College of Electors? Hearing no other nominations, I call for a voice vote. All in favor of electing Elector Terry C. Fry of Bristol as Secretary of the 2016 College of Electors, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, please say nay. Hearing none, Elector Terry C. Fry of Bristol was unanimously elected as Secretary of the 2016 College of Electors. Will the President and Secretary please join me at the podium? I now present Elector Secretary Fry with the minutes for this meeting as prepared by the State Board of Elections. Elector President Rowland, please assume your place at the podium. Thank you. I would like to express my sincere appreciation on being selected to serve as your president. While I share in your pride in being here today to vote for our party's nominee, I also share in your disappointment and concern in the outcome of this election. Having this opportunity to join you in adding our names to this historic document will show in time that we stood on the right side of history, and I'm proud to represent you today. Thank you. Um, at this time, in the order of business, is to vote for the President of the United States for the next ensuing term by roll call vote. Electors, when your name is called, please stand and respond by whom you wish to cast your vote. 
Mr. Secretary, will you poll the um, electors for their votes? I will. Elector from Petersburg, Virginia, Ms. LaCherise D. Aird. Elector from Culpeper, Virginia, Mr. James Harold Allen Boyd. Hi, James Harold Allen Boyd. I'm honored to cast my vote for Hillary Bob Clinton in New York. Elector from Harrisburg, Virginia, Harrisonburg, Virginia, Ms. Deborah Stevens Fitzgerald. As the latest, late, late, at last stated elector, um, I, Terry C. Fry of the city of Bristol, have the great honor of casting my vote for a woman who put nearly 66 million cracks in the gl glass ceiling and who won the popular vote by almost 3 million votes. For a woman who's devoted her adult life to the issues of gender equality, racial equality, religious equality, and electoral equality and whose great work remains unfinished, which brings to mind the immortal words of Senator Ted Kennedy, the line of the Senate, who said, for her the campaign has come to an end. But for all those whose cares have been her concern, the work goes on, the cause endures, the hope still lives, and the dream shall never die. In this spirit, with the eyes of history looking down upon her electors, I proudly cast my vote for the President of the United States, for Hillary Clinton, the great state of New York. Elector from Pamplin, Virginia, Mr. Jasper Hendricks III. Hi, I'm Jasper Hendricks III. Um, it's an honor to cast my electoral vote uh, to the former Secretary of State. Elector from Manassas, Virginia, Mr. K. James O'Connor, Jr. Elector from Norfolk, Virginia, Ms. Vivian J. Page. Elector from Alexandria, Virginia, Virginia L. Peters. Elector from Chesapeake, Virginia, Miss Bethany J. Rowland. Elector from Chesapeake, Virginia, Ms. Susan Johnston Rowland. Thank you. I'm Susan Johnston Rowland of Chesapeake. I'm proud to cast my vote for the first female nominee of a major party in honor of all women who continue to fight to crack that glass ceiling. I cast my vote for Hillary Rodham Clinton of New York. From the elector from Dublin, Virginia, Ms. Jeanette C. Sarver. Elector from Prince William County, Virginia, Mr. Keith A. Scarborough. Elector from Sterling, Virginia, Ms. Kathy Stewart Shoup. I'm Kathy Stewart Shoup, proudly, honorably, and humbly cast my vote for the first female nominee of 
major party. Now, Hillary Clinton of New York State. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Electors, would you please stand and join me? We're going off script a little bit. And I ask if you would um, join me in making the uh, announcement, if you will. Okay. 13 votes, votes have, have been cast for, for the Honorable Hillary Rodham Clinton, Clinton of the, the State of New York, York for President of the United States. States. No, no other, other person, person received a vote. Thank you. Will the uh, pages bring forward the signatures of certificate for the vote? Oh, are we going to go ahead? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not my script. All right. Now we are going to go to the um, election of the vice president of the United States. So would our secretary, Mr. Secretary, would you please call the vote for the Vice President. Would you go? <laughs> Elector from Petersburg, Virginia, Ms. LaCherise D. Aird. I, LaCherise D. Aird, from Petersburg, Virginia, proudly passed my vote for the campaign of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you. Elector from Culpeper, Virginia, Mr. James Harold Allen Boyd. Elector from Harrisonburg, Virginia, Ms. Deborah Stevens Fitzgerald. Hi, Deborah Stevens Fitzgerald from Harrisonburg, Virginia, proudly, and with great honor, cast my vote for Tim Kaine as Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you. As the next stated elector, I, Terry C. Fry of the City of Bristol, have the honor of casting my vote for Vice President of the United States to a great senator, a wonderful human being, a friend who my wife and I dearly love, the Honorable Tim Kaine of the great Commonwealth of Virginia. Elector from Pamplin, Virginia, Mr. Jasper L. Hendricks III. Thank you. Elector from Manassas, Virginia, Mr. K. James O'Connor, Jr. Elector from Norfolk, Virginia, Ms. Vivian J. Page. Elector from Alexandria, Virginia, Virginia L. Peters. Elector from Chesapeake, Virginia, Miss Bethany J. Rowland. Elector from Chesapeake, Virginia, Ms. Susan Johnston Rowland. I, Susan J. Rowland, do cast my electoral vote for Tim Kaine of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Elector from Dublin, Virginia, Ms. Jeanette C. Sarver. Elector from Prince William County, Virginia, Mr. Keith A. Scarborough. I, Keith A. Scarborough, am proud to cast my vote for Vice President, for someone who first recognized the importance of Prince William County as a 
battleground area in the Commonwealth of Virginia. I was a Senator Tim Vice President. Elector from Sterling, Virginia, Ms. Kathy Stewart Shoup. Thank you. It is official if you would stand and join me in making this very honorable historic uh, announcement. Thirteen votes have been cast for the Honorable Tim Kaine of the Commonwealth of Virginia for Vice President of the United States. No other per person received a vote. Thank you, Elector. Now will the pages <laughs> please bring forward the signatures to certify a vote.
While we are signing these, I would like to acknowledge um, another elected official, Delegate Lamont Bagney, is here with us this, today. Thank you. And our, um, and as well, our state party chair, our fearless leader, Susan Swecker. I told y'all you'd feel like you were buying a house today.
will uh, the pages please bring forward the signature of the envelopes for endorsement? Will the Secretary of Electors please place, assemble six envelopes, each containing a certificate of the vote that we just signed, a certificate of ascertainment signed by the governor. And while he's compiling those, on behalf of the electors, I would like to um, thank our chair, um, Alcorn, and the vice chair, Wheeler, and the secretary, McAllister, for having us, along with the commissioner, Cortez, the deputy commissioner, Howard, and the policy advisor, Marsh. We really appreciate you um, putting this together and hosting us today. Also want to extend our appreciation to the um, clerk of the Senate, Ms. Susan Shaw, and to the deputy clerk, Ms. Jennifer Welch, without these fine people working weeks and weeks and weeks to put this together for us. And everything is running as smoothly as I've ever seen in on clockwork. And I do appreciate, on behalf of the electors, all of y'all's hard work. And at this time, can we have the pages hand out the minutes of, for the electors to review? That will be our um, next item of business as so we we'll move along here. Electors, if you'll review the minutes, we'll pass them to sign later, but just review them because we're going to be voting on those minutes.
Okay, if the pages would distribute these. These are the envelopes of endorsement. And they are to be signed by each elector, certifying that the list of the votes of the Commonwealth of Virginia for the president and all of the votes given to the uh, vice president are on those official historic documents.
<laughs> they got us. <laughs> they modernized the envelopes that we were looking at. <laughs> I know there's no water here. <laughs> So as directed by the law, the, the envelopes will now be presented to the Secretary of the Board of Elections and are to be distributed by the board as follows. One envelope to the Honorable Joseph Joe Biden, President of the Senate of the United States. One envelope to the Honorable Rebecca Branch Smith, Judge of the United States District Court for the Eastern, Division of, um, Eastern District of Virginia. And two, to David Ferrero, the archivist for the United States of America. Thank you. Now I would like to present one to our Secretary of um, the Commonwealth of Virginia, two envelopes. Thank you. Now I'd like to ask uh, Dr. Sandra G. Treadway, the librarian of Virginia, with the seventh certificate of the Library of Virginia to keep in its archives. She'll please come forward. And Dr. Treadway, thank you. She is the official keeper of all these historic documents. And she actually has the document from 1789 of the first electoral college, which included Patrick Henry. So thank you. So your names and signatures will now join the ranks of our founding fathers. Thank you. I need one more. Where's the last one? Certificate will be presented to the Honorable uh, James B. Alcorn with the eighth certificate for the State Board of Elections. So we'll present that for your records. Thank you. Where well, the pages um, have distributed the copies of the minutes, have the electors had um, time to review them? If they have, may I have a motion to accept the minutes as recorded? I think we have an elector page. Electoral Page has made a motion to accept the minutes as prepared. Do I have a second? I just want to the third and second Electoral Page's motion to accept the minutes. Electoral Hendricks has seconded Electoral Page's motion to accept the minutes. Those in favor of accepting the minutes for the 2016 Electoral College of Virginia, please state aye. 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 All those opposed? Hearing no objections, the minutes are now approved. Electors, please sign the copy of the minutes in front of you. Pages, please aid the electors in this process. And I'd like to thank each of you and thank our wonderful young pages. Please give them a hand. They've truly been an asset, and I, I know I'll be seeing them in the future around these halls. And at this time, I would like to um, now call on the State Board of Elections chairs for um, Chairman Acorn for closing remarks. And on behalf of Terry Fry and myself, again, thank you.
Thank you, Madam President. <laughs> And on behalf of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the State Board of Elections, I'd like to thank each of the electors for your service here today. On behalf of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the State Board of Elections, I'd also again like to thank Secretary Thomason for being part of this historic occasion. As a token of our gratitude, would one of the pages please present Ms. Thomson with one of the commemorative pen and pencil sets. <laughs> We're going for the cute factor here today. <laughs> And as the President mentioned, we'd also like to acknowledge and thank Dr. Sa Sandra Treadway, the Librarian of Virginia, for bringing some very special historic documents with her today from the Library of Virginia. Dr. Treadway, if you would, if you would like to please take a couple moments to please explain the documents and what their symbolism is. As the President said, your, your names are now amongst the names of our founding fathers and on this very historic day. So, so again, congratulations and, and thank you for your service on this and thank you to Dr. Treadway. Um, it's, it's the real deal, so I do have, uh, you know, encourage you to come up and take, take a look at, at it. I, I'd also, also like to take a couple minutes just to thank and acknowledge the, the cast of characters that it takes to put on a, an historic election in an electoral college such as we, we've had this this year. Um, first, let's start with the, the clerk of the Senate, Su Susan Scharr, for, for hosting this event the, 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 today. So th thank you very much for, for the great uh, you know, environment for, for the electoral college. So, so thank you, uh, Susan. Obviously, in elections, there's a lot of paperwork and a lot of counting that, that, that we do. And so one of the numbers that, that we track is the overall turnout for, for elections. And this year, we had a very high turnout of 71.3%. But, but one county always seems to rise above all the others. And so I'd like to just take, take a moment to, again, re recognize Goochland County, who, who beat the, uh, the record this year with 85.2% of their active voters uh, participating in the election this year. And I know that their electoral board, their general registrar, and all nine of their precinct chiefs are here today. I hope they will share the secrets of their success uh, uh, with others who will then participate across the Commonwealth. But congratulations to, to Goochland. I hope that they have set a new bar for all of us to, to reach across in the next election. And as I mentioned, it, it does take a cast of thousands to, to put on an election. And I'd just like to kind of quickly you know, say thank you to, to many of those folks that have helped put on this election this past year. Uh, uh, we, we've heard a lot of allegations, as the President said or, or, or the Secretary said earlier, about how the Electoral College works, but also how elections in general work this year, and, and, that, and that the elections are, are, are rigged you know, against the populace. But, but it really takes the cast of thousands who, and their dedication to free and fair elections to make sure that elections run as smoothly as they do. And, and, and yet again this year, you know, thousands of Virginians came together with their dedication for ensuring free and fair elections. So on behalf of the State Board of Elections, I really want to just call out some, some of the organizations that have really step, stepped up, as they have year in and year out, uh, because they are here year after year, not just for presidential elections, and also for elections all throughout the year, not just in November, uh, um, across the Commonwealth. So just in 2016, they administered four statewide primary elections, city and town elections, two constitutional amendments, plus several special elections throughout the year. 
They assisted uh, over, the, uh, over five and a half million registered voters th throughout Virginia, and they processed over a half million absentee voters uh, this past year. And folks may, may not be aware, but it's not just folks that are election officials that participate in putting on an election, um, but it really requires the coordination of numerous state agencies across the Commonwealth. We rely upon our hard work from our partners at the Secretary of the Commonwealth's office, who we heard earlier, at DMV, Emergency Management, Department of Transportation, Department of Mines, Minerals, and Energy, VITA, the State Police, Virginia Association of Police Chiefs, Virginia Sheriff's Association, to name just a few of those agencies. And so I'd like to thank the Governor's Office, and in particular Secretary Nancy Rodriguez for her help in coordinating those efforts of all those state agencies across the Commonwealth. So Felix, please pass our thanks on to the Secretary who can't be here today. I'd also like to thank our partners at the Attorney General's Office, who I see are always you know, sit sitting nearby whenever the board is in session. We we, we get sued a lot, in case you don't know, uh, and so, the, and it doesn't just say uh, the State Board of Elections, but it does happen to say Alcorn, McAllister, and Wheeler on top of those names uh, very often. So my, my kids are always a little disappointed when I get served at home because they think the doorbell means the pizza man, but uh, sometimes it, <laughs> it means from my, uh, where we talk to our friends at the Attorney General's office soon. So, so thank you very much for, for keeping us out of jail and, and out of the courts. <laughs> I'd also really like to thank the, the, the staff at the State Board of Elections. They, they're the permanent staff there. They are there year in and year out. They, they serve in a nonpartisan fashion. Uh, they, they take a lot of arrows they're, throughout the year from folks who are upset about different things. But, but they are there uh, putting in countless hours you know, behind the scenes to make sure that elections work across the Commonwealth. And again, they serve in a nonpartisan fashion year after year. I'd also like to thank the 133 general registrars and 399 electoral board members that are, are the face to, of, to voters throughout the Commonwealth uh, throughout, throughout the years. And then finally, thank you to the thousands of officers of elections who are really the front line for voters in the polling places on Election Day. Without them, not, none of this would happen on Election Day as well. And so again, from the State Board of Elections and from the Commonwealth of Virginia, I'd really just like to say thank you to, as I said, the, th the cast of thousands that it takes to put on an, an election uh, every year. So thank you. <laughs> Madam President, with, with, with your permission, I would like to ask each of the electors to, to remain in the chamber immediately following the adjournment for a few spe uh, uh, special additional duties. And with that, I have no further announcements. That, Madam President. Um, before we adjourn, I'd like to mention that the 115th United States Congress will meet in a joint session on January 6, 2017, to count the electoral votes for President and Vice President of the United States of America. Also, the President elect will be inaugurated at noon on January 20, 2017, in Washington, D.C. Is there any other business to come before the college? Seeing no other business, I call the meeting of the 2016 College of Electors of the Commonwealth of Virginia adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.